Hi. So, um, uh, it's been a while. It's been like, what, three weeks or something? I don't know. Hopefully you can hear me. But, uh, I found some new cool stuff with the software I use for the, uh, motion capture. Like, look at this. Oh. Wow, Hi. 25 months. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, um, so, this is gonna be... The, the lip syncing is a little weird, but... You know what? Alright, I'm just gonna change it, actually. Excuse me. Ah, <laughs> uh, where is it? Down here. I'm gonna change it to the microphone instead. There, that's a lot better. But basically, like, I can do facial expressions and stuff now, which is really cool. Just over a year subscribed. Glad to still be here. Thank you. That's that's over two years. Wow. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. But, um, yeah, so I, I this uh, facial tracking stuff is really cool. And uh, they actually just had a um, an update to add the facial tracking. So we're kind of one step closer to it. What I, what I kind of want. Um, the only problem, though, is that the throwing stuff does not work with this because it's a completely different program. So finally uh, caught a stream again. Yeah. Be here before my wisdom teeth surgery this weekend. What? Oh god, a wisdom teeth surgery. Did you uh are you doing the sedation thing? Cuz that's what I did when I got mine removed. Yeah. Oh yeah, you should be fine then. If you're getting sedated, completely fine. You're not even going to notice it happens. But yeah. It is a bit expensive, though, the sedation. I think I had to pay, like, an extra 200 or something. Because, you know, American healthcare. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I misread... <laughs> I misread Hansi saying, uh, good luck with your top surgery. <laughs> yeah, good luck with your top surgery, dude. <laughs> Getting them titties removed. <laughs> I mean, technically, your head is the top of your body, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's still on Pokemon? Aw. Have you tried uh, refreshing to see if that changes it? Because I could have sworn. Did I? How am I supposed to pronounce it? Oh, my bad. How am I supposed to pronounce it correctly if that's how it's read? <laughs> what? That can't be my fault. Guys, guys, I know my name says Kamix, but it's actually pronounced Kamis. All right, get it right. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You've been pronouncing it wrong for. How long have I had this username? 12 years? God. I cannot believe that. Yeah, I, I think I... <laughs> quote unquote created this name when I was like 14. <laughs> and literally it's just Blastoise's Japanese name. And it's... Yeah. I'm not creative whatsoever, because I feel like I don't, my old usernames were pretty shit too. Like, 
<laughs> the first username I've ever had in my entire life is uh, what? Yeah, yeah. It was my first name and the year that I was born. That's it. it it's that, that's literally what my first username was. Yeah, I'm not good with names. And then it was, um, then it was like a copy of another YouTuber I used to watch. Uh, his name was Super Skarmory. So I just like changed the name to be like a different adjective and a different Pokemon name. And I've done that for a few years until I was 14. And I was like looking through the Japanese names of uh, Pokemon. And I I'm starting to wonder if that's partially the the reason why um if part of the reason why i did that was because i remember i had to memorize uh pokemon black and white's japanese names because uh black and white came out like six months before in japan than it did in the u.s so i had to like memorize the japanese names and so it kind of like fucked up my <laughs> yeah it kind of <laughs> fucked everything up for me when it comes to uh, names in the fifth gen but anyway, so then I looked through and I was like, which of these Japanese names sounds the least weeb? And it, it was, it was comics, comics, whatever. And so I picked that. And yeah, I don't think a lot of people actually know it's Blastoise's Japanese name, <laughs> but that is literally what it is. Um, and I've just had it ever since because I, I don't know. But nowadays, I, I don't like it when people call me that. I'd, I'd much prefer people just call me Cam. Like, just to shorten it to Cam. And that, that's been my name for... I don't know how long at this point. <laughs> RL named the Kirby fan. <laughs> that's funny. But, yeah. A funny thing is, my real name has nothing to do with this whatsoever. My real name is just Eric. Doesn't sound as cool. <laughs> I feel like Mace kind of blends in with the background a little too much. I still think this stuff with my hands is pretty cool. Like, look how smooth it is. Oh. Yeah, there's really not much to my name. Oh yeah, I remember um, the reason why I have this name is because the Little Mermaid. So when is Disney gonna copyright my mom? I don't know. <laughs> So yeah, I was technically named after Prince Eric from, like, The Little Mermaid. <laughs> yeah. Let me see. Wait, same here. You mean your name came from The Little Mermaid too or something? <laughs> Alright, I'll copyright you. I came here first. Probably. I don't know. I'm 26. <laughs> You're 18. I remember when I was 18. This was... Uh, a long time ago. I know there's going to be someone in their 30s being like, oh, you think it was a long time ago. <laughs> Listen. When I was 18... Let me see. Is there is there any way I can... How can I make myself sound old? When I was 18, Leafy was still relevant. I don't know. <laughs> Uh, 
I know. When I was 18, uh, the iPhone 6S was the newest one. <laughs> we're at the, we're up to 15 now. I like that you can see me just subtly, like, scratch my nose and stuff, too. I really like this model a lot. Nah, I, I'm not familiar with the Persona series. Not at all. What, what kind of game is Persona, anyway? Is it like an RPG or something? Because typically, I, I tend to, um, I tend to like adventure games, racing games, turn-based JRPG. Huh. That's cool. Yeah, you know, now that I think about it, I don't think I've played many JRPGs. I think the only JRPG I've ever played was, like, uh, <laughs> does Pokemon count? Because, uh, technically... <laughs> Oh yeah, week three. That's coming very, very soon. Um, yeah, it's it's genuinely so close to being done. Like, I don't even know how to describe. We need four things. Oh, four things. <laughs> I forgot my character only has three fingers and a thumb. Okay, we need four things, four uh, dialogue portraits, and. Like, a few chart tweaks, which I think Chubby already did, so, uh, all we need is art. That's it. That's the only thing we need at this point. Though, um, the thing about it, the, uh, this, this week, uh, there's not gonna be any, like, separate vocals and, um, instrumental files, because, if I'm being honest, I absolutely hated how FNF handled audio. Um, basically, they separated the vocals from the instrumental, and, you know, when you master it, it kind of goes through the same mastering chain, so the amplitude kind of doubles up, and so it sounds... it doesn't sound good because of that. Um, you might hear in some cases when you play really loud FNF mods, uh, you hear, like, some warbling of, like, the volume. The volume just doesn't sound very consistent, and that's because, uh... I'm, I'm guessing the limiter in your computer is probably, like, pushing down the peaks, which in turn kind of pushes the rest of the signal down, so it just sounds really weird and uneven. So basically what I did was I just merged it to one file, and that should sound a lot better. The only, diff the only problem now is that when you miss notes, you're not going to hear the sound effect of missing notes, but honestly, who cares? Like... <laughs> I, I want the music to sound good. <laughs> that That's what I care about. But, yeah. So, hopefully the music will sound cleaner with this update. Um, all the old songs are still going to have the separate stuff. But, uh, yeah. This one, yeah. Oh, yeah, and uh, sad news. Swapped is not going to be making a comeback for this one. <laughs> it, it's just mainly because I... I don't know, it, it was fun at first, and in, at first it was actually just a workaround, but, um, yeah, I kept it for like three weeks or so, but I just hope you enjoy this as is, but it's going to be good. I, I think, personally, I, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I think all three songs are good, are actually like really good, so I hope, uh, yeah. Yeah, my eyes are very expressive now. I love this model so much. Because <laughs> basically, uh, the, um, the, the motion capturing software, what it, it does is, like, it tracks my face and applies them to the blend shapes of the 3D model. So, like, when I move my eyebrows, it moves the little shapes of the eyebrows as well. And it's just so cool to see, like, that in action. And I'm waiting on a couple more, uh, 3D models from the same person who made this one. Um... 
So, uh, I'm gonna be hopefully getting a regular Ace model pretty soon, as well as uh, an Elise model, because we, we need some more love for my bird. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, it's, it's genuinely exciting. Uh, I don't think, I do feel like, you know, with every mod update that I've ever made, uh, story's not going to be very deep. I mean, it's literally just your calming isolation down. It's pretty simple. But, uh, that, that's because, like, the focus on my stuff is genu generally just more on the music rather than, like, oh, a story, whatever. Because, I don't know. I, I just don't, I, I don't feel like you have much room to make a great story with F and F, you know what I mean? Because, like, think about it this way. It's like, oh, uh, let's fight. And then you just start singing. <laughs> like, it's, it's like a weird, I don't know. It just seems weird to me. But yeah, no. Um, oh, another thing. I actually just, um, just put in a deal with Makeship. We're going to be making, um, I, I don't know. I don't have any information on this just yet, but I just signed an agreement where um, we're going to be making another type of merch with it. And it's going to be... Uh, the idea is that we're going to be making uh, pins. So, just two enamel pins. Um, one of Ace and one of Isolation. And uh, the only thing that I find a little bit kind of scary is the fact that um, it's going to be 20 bucks for two pins. So... And, and you can't buy them separately, either, so you, you kind of have to. Um, the other option was to do three pins for $30, and I felt like that was a little too steep. So I went with the two for 20 so that it, it'll have a better chance of people being able to buy them and stuff. So that's going to be coming up soon. Um, I'd like to time it with the release of the mod so that, you know, we can get some kind of hype train going. But, uh, yeah, um, I can show the concepts but it's more than likely not going to be exactly as the concept show. So um, I, I'll have to hear back from them to see what they, uh, what they think. But here's one of the concepts here. See, it's just Isolation's head, and it'll have like some little glitter spots on his uh, crystals. So that, that's going to be cool. This one's made by Dax, which is the same person who, um, who made the... Uh, he made the the portrait, the dialogue portraits. So, yeah, same art style. And another one, which is made by Panda, it's uh, this one, where it's Ace and the Ice Arrow. But I, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take this Ice Arrow and put it on his hand, and it's going to be something you can spin. So that'll be cool too. But that's kind of, those are the ideas, and uh, we'll see what what they say about this. Like, what Makeship says, like, what they can do, what they can't do, and such. But, uh, that's what's going on now. As for content in the future, um, we got two videos coming up. Uh, one is this Friday. I'm gonna be releasing a, uh, it's just gonna be an original song. <laughs> it's gonna be funk. If you've ever heard of funk music before, it's that weird, like, Sigma YouTube shorts kind of shit, but like I decided to make it because I thought it was fun to do like just you know test out a new genre to see if I can do it and uh, Here's here's the art for it Warning, uh, he's he's kind of hot. I don't know <laughs> Look at this shit man Like come on <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> yeah. You know, it is kind of refreshing to see Ace, like, badass like that, because typically he's very, like, derpy looking and harmless and stuff. I need to get more art like that, because I think that's cool. Like this one. God, I loved this drawing for a long time because of how cool he looked here. And those big teeth, too. So menacing. I, I love it when he's like that. 
I gotta get another one from this artist. It's so good. <laughs> finally sync to my voice this time <laughs> good good very good um yeah also happy valentine's day i think a lot of people are probably out doing stuff <laughs> we uh retro and i already went uh, to lunch together. We went to a place called uh, Cheddar's. Uh, let me see if I can... Scratch Kitchen, it was called. Yeah, here. We went to here. Oh my god, such a tiny picture. Yeah, <laughs> I don't even know if you can see with all this little bit of pixels. Don't worry, we didn't take this picture. But it's just it's just a restaurant that like serves. Uh, it seems like they, they mostly do chicken related stuff. It, it's pretty simple. But um, yeah, it's decent. I love their croissants though. Yeah. Okay, that's it, guys. Th thanks for coming. I'll see you next time. Okay. Why my hands do that? Okay. I know, right? They should just only sell blocks of cheese. croissants yes it's all elise's fault wait a minute when were croissants invented when the croissant was invented in early 20th century when french bakers replaced the brioche dough um with a yeast leavened laminated dough okay does is there like a specific year no, it just says 20th century. Okay. Oh, here we go. In either 1838 or 1839, an Austrian artillery off. Wait, you just said 20th century. That's 19th. Yeah, I have no idea. Anyway, um. I cannot believe it's French. Disgusting. Alright. What other food origins are from France? I think macaroni and cheese is from France, isn't it? Where was mac and cheese invented? Northern Europe. The earliest recorded mac and cheese recipe dates all the way back to 1769. Nice. And most likely comes from Northern Europe. In America, we've been enjoying the staple thanks to Thomas Jefferson. What? <laughs> After a trip to France, Jefferson just couldn't part with all the amazing pasta dishes in which he indulged. Mmm, mac and cheese. How about mozzarella sticks? So you would think that mozzarella sticks came from Italy, but the earliest iteration of the mozzarella stick is traditionally believed to date back to 15th century France. What? France? Stop inventing all of my favorite foods. Well, I, I don't know. Italy has you beat with pizza. Sorry. <laughs> 
Don't tell me pizza's French, too. Yeah, okay. Italy. I knew it. <laughs> Along the western coast of Italy in the city of Naples. Hot dogs are French? No fucking way. Wait. Where was... Hot dogs invented? Are you fucking... Wait. However, the hot dog did not originally come from the United States. It originated in Europe, or more concrete, in either Frankfurt, Germany, or Vienna, Austria. Hmm. Alright, that's why they call them Franks. Speaking of... Okay, I'm not gonna lie, hot dogs are like my go-to snack for when I feel lazy and I just want to eat something. Like, I get like a pack of beef um, hot dogs. I'm, I'm trying so hard not to say it with a New York accent. Because <laughs> I'd be saying hot dogs. It, I hate it. <laughs> what else is French? Uh, Cheez-Its? No, definitely not. <laughs> Why am I even looking this up? Oh, look at this one. Uh, Cheez-Its were first introduced in 1921 by the Green and Green Company, then located, then located at the corners of Cincinnati and Concord Streets. Huh? Ohio. Cheez-Its are from Ohio. I'm throwing mine away. <laughs> and you know what? Ohio has a city called Paris. Yeah. Paris, Ohio. That's right. <laughs> Poor Ohio. <laughs> well, now I'm in the mood for, like, geography crap, because I'm dumb. Does this mean GeoGuessr time? I think it means GeoGuessr time. Shut up, Retro. Literally all you do is just stand there and stare. I don't know how people sit in your fucking... <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was violent. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Da, da 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 I'm trying to- I need to find the... Opera, where are you? Oh, there you are. Just staring contest with the viewers. Yeah. No, literally all you would hear is just like... You would hear him checking all the Discord servers while streaming, and you'd just be like, Do that for four hours and you got a retro stream. <laughs> no, no, you know what? It's not accurate enough, right? You kind of have to just do like... Oh, sorry guys. Um, I was reading something. Oh, sorry guys. Sorry I'm quiet. Oh, food's here. Hold on. Okay. Da, 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 da. I like the sound of my keyboard. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get some ASMR going. I don't like the sound of that space bar though. But the regular keys are nice. Okay. Yeah, I have a Cherry MX Reds. Um, I used to have Cherry MX Browns. 
but I've been using Reds for the last, I want to say, two or three years now. Same keyboard. It's uh, the HyperX Alloy Origins Core, I believe. It's like a 10 keyless. But, yeah. Keyboards are cool. <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted. Classic maps. That kind of sucks about some of these is that if you get the United States, you're fucked. Here we go. All right, let's let's, let's start doxing people. This definitely looks like the U.S. I mean, look at how fucked up everything is. Da 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 da. -da. Oh, look at this. Those are New York license plates. We're in New York? Yeah, so the reason why I could tell they're New York license plates is because, like, most of it is yellow on the bottom, and the top is, like, dark bluish. And also, New York is one of the states that has uh, front license plates. Florida doesn't require front license plates. But, like, what part of New York is this? This is depressing. Like, I don't know, man. Performance auto body. This is not going to tell me where we're at. I could say maybe upstate, uh, closer like west, maybe. Because this honestly looks more like... Oh, wait. Syracuse. Yeah, that, that I think that is like northwest New York-ish. Yeah, here we go. Syracuse. Yeah, it looks... It looks closer to Midwest, right? Because like... Look at this. All right, let's see. Yes. Holy shit. Okay, I was closer than I thought. Nice. Okay. Lucky streak. Um, well, <laughs> first one. Okay. Um, what is this? Uh, mild, fine taste. Ah, oh, here we go. I'm honestly not sure. <laughs> this could honestly be Malaysia. I I'm thinking Malaysia. I don't know if Indonesia um, drives on the left side as well. It could be either or because the languages are very similar. Fuck it. I'm gonna say Malaysia. Ah, oh, it was Indonesia. Yeah. Those two are a lot more similar than you think. Because uh, their languages are very similar. In fact, um, when Indonesia was colonized, I think, uh, I think I learned this somewhere. This looks like Chicago or like Michigan or something. Uh, they used Malay as their official language for a while because it was like the merchant language. So like a lot of merchants around the area spoke Malay. And then after a while, um, Indonesia kind of developed their own language based on Malay. As if I remember correctly, don't quote me on that though. But this genuinely looks like Illinois or uh, Michigan or something. I'm gonna say, like, maybe the south side of Chicago. Uh, that's just what my gut is telling me. Damn! It was actually Wisconsin. Close enough, though. Um, You'd be surprised. Japan. <laughs> it's somewhere in Japan, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Virginia. I wonder where we are. If it's not in Virginia, I'm going to eat my shoe. Oh, God. I'm probably going to eat my shoe, is it? aren't I? Some, like, bullshit random place in Virginia. I swear to God. It, it was Virginia. Okay, I'm not eating my shoe today.
Thank God. Korea! We're in South Korea. Wow. I don't usually see South Korea come up on this. You can tell because of the... Uh, the... Script. Uh, Korean symbols often have a lot of circles in them. That's kind of how I know. Please let me be right after being that confident. It's somewhere in South Korea. It's a very dense country. There's a lot of cities everywhere. Ah, Busan. Okay. Sorry, Busan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we're in the United States. Well, this sucks. This looks like the countryside of any U.S. state. I don't... How am I supposed to know? Da -da -da -da. Shoes probably taste, like, very bitter. You know, I vaguely remember someone being... Or, I think they bet that... They couldn't lick the bottom of their shoe or something like that, and yeah, that, that was gross watching them do that. Yeah, we do gross shit as kids. I, I don't remember the grossest thing I've done as a kid. You know what? Yeah, okay, there, there was- I, I remember just like taking the TV remote and just licking it. Like the back of it, because the texture of it was interesting to me. I don't fucking know. I'm sorry to my mom, she probably did not know that. Gee, I wonder why I used to get sick so often. Kids are fucking gross. <laughs> okay, um... Wow, that's old. Look at this Walmart. That Walmart has not been, like, updated in forever. Eat toilet paper? Oh my god. <laughs> Now, I used to take toilet paper and, like, wet it and just toss it at the... Like, slam it against the wall. My mom was fucking pissed when, <laughs> when I did that. What did the glow stick liquid taste like? Forbidden jelly. I have no idea where the fuck we are, by the way. Th that's just, like, America in a nutshell. Honestly, I kind of get picking your nose, because it's like, sometimes blowing your nose doesn't really cut it. As long as you wash your hands afterwards, who cares? Or like, hand sanitizer, I guess. You, you gotta do that finger hook in there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I have no idea where the fuck this is, but I'm doing seeing a lot of flat fields, so let's say fucking Kansas or something. Close. It was actually Illinois. Ooh. Palm trees. That's pretty. Hmm. A lot of motorcycles, too. Or just two, actually. I thought I saw more than that. Noah's Ark, restaurant and bar. 281. I don't recognize that uh, area code. Does anyone here do? <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm seeing palm trees. So, like, my guesses would be either Florida or Louisiana. And it could also be Houston. Houston also has palm trees. Ah, it's looking pretty Florida. Pretty Floridian here. Oh, wait. I don't know about that anymore. I'm seeing front license plates. I gotta keep looking. Oh, there's a front license plate here. Might be Louisiana. I don't know. Does Louisiana have front license plates? I don't remember. Yeah, that's something I kind of like about this area, like the Gulf Coast, is that, you know, it's very... It's very green. Like, I remember when I, um... 
when I lived in Dallas for about a year and a half, every time I would visit Florida, it, it seemed a lot more colorful and green there. And I don't know, I just felt a little happier seeing like all the trees and the grass and all that stuff. This, this seems like a nice place to live, you know, kind of cozy. I wouldn't mind living here, especially like near the beach. That'd be nice. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm going to say Louisiana. Like some... I don't fucking know. It was Houston! God damn it! I... <sighs> at least sort of guessed it. <laughs> More palm trees. Oh, we're on this side of the road? Okay. The streets don't... What the fuck is that? Okay. Castro. <laughs> they blurred the face of the billboard. <laughs> okay. Well, this is Spanish. But, uh, the problem with, you know, seeing Spanish signs is that there are a lot of countries that speak Spanish. I think 21 countries have, um, Spanish as their official language. I say 21 because that includes, uh, Equatorial Guinea, which is in Africa. Wait a minute. Chile. <laughs> okay, we're probably like down here where it's greener. Hey, nice. What? Why am I gone? What happened to me? I love technology. What the fuck? Hold on, I I don't know what happened. <laughs> uh, I'm here. So then why? Why am I not here? What happened to me? <laughs> I love technology, man. Like, how does this even happen? I deadass don't know. I... What? Hold on, I, I got sent to fucking the back rooms. I don't know what the hell happened. I'm so confused. I'm gonna just... Is it... I'm gonna copy that. Just put it here. Sure. Ah... Uh, Alright! We're, we're just gonna pretend that I, I legitimately don't know what happened. Okay! Uh, back to normal. Ah. I have a sudden craving for like just a drink, like some juice or something. I actually have like blue Hawaiian punch. All right, where the fuck are we? Yeah, I had to make myself reappear from the shadow realm, force myself to do that. All right. Hmm. Hard to read. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. Dilemora. No fucking idea. Oh, Volvo, we're in Sweden. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> if only it were that easy. I like pineapple juice, yeah. Sounds nice. Oh my god. So, actually, this music playing in the background reminds me. Um, VGR dropped a fucking banger not too long ago. Oh, it's, it's here. Oh my god, listen to this. I'm gonna say Sweden. I don't know why, but it... yeah, it was Sweden. <laughs> Let's go. What the fuck? Gee, I wonder what country this is. Tokyo? Tokyo's not a country, but you know. Yeah. This makes me want to get into a car and drive really fast. Oh, wait a minute. I have an idea. <laughs> I keep forgetting I have this. I don't know what's... how he's pressing the foot pedals. Okay. <laughs> okay. I have no idea where we are. Texas. I'm kidding. <laughs> nah. I legitimately don't know. Place is flat though. So, it's maybe in the Great Plains somewhere. I have no idea. Oh! It was Texas! What the fuck? I, I really need to listen to my gut more. Okay, but yeah, this was so good. Like, yeah. <laughs> VGR is honestly so good at what he does. Europe. Well, we're definitely in Europe, but fish restaurant. Oh, Greek. We're in Greece. What a pretty country. Definitely the coast of Greece. I just don't know where, though. Oh, wow. Okay, here. Hmm. This is looking like maybe... Oh, wait. El Fumadilla? Is this Spanish? Vende. Uno Santos. Yeah, this is... this is Spain. That's kind of pretty. Yeah, I'd love to visit Europe one day. Pago de Segunda, 
Dexter Ferreira. What? Mini Mercado. <laughs> oh, PT, that's Portugal. How was I able to understand all that? Excuse me? That's Portuguese. Okay, we're in lesbian. <laughs> we were. <laughs> Lisbon. I was able to understand like half of that. The Portuguese is so funny because like it's you can kind of get the gist of Portuguese if you speak Spanish and same the other way around. But I think I've heard that people who speak Portuguese are able to understand Spanish better better than the other way around, which is really interesting. And I think that's because Portuguese might be a more complicated language. But yeah, no, I just find that really cool. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we're in Japan. Yes. Those characters are pretty dense, so it's a little hard to tell. It could honestly be China as well, because of how dense the characters are, but yeah. I don't know. They do use two different writing systems, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, this is Japan. Zooming into Florida. <laughs> Yep, Japan. Nice. This is the United States. Could also be Canada, to be fair, but... Po oh boys, buy here, pay here. Wait, po oh boys? Doesn't that mean poor boys? <laughs> What are you calling me poor for? Whoa, what the fuck? What happened here? <laughs> Jesus. Um, languages that are pretty similar, I would probably say... I, th I think in, uh, Indonesian and Malay definitely are pretty similar. Um... I do wonder how many of the Cyrillic languages are similar as well. Like, you know, Bulgarian, um, Ukrainian, Russian, Mongolian. Like, I wonder how much they can understand each other. But th the thing about that too is that just because it's the same writing system doesn't mean that they can understand each other's languages. Because, I mean, we use uh, Latin letters, right? But a German can't really understand English, right? But they use the same writing system. So, it might just be that, that kind of logic as well. What's interesting is uh, I know a person who speaks uh, Czech who says that they can kind of understand Russian because of how similar the Slavic languages can be. Which is pretty cool to see, but yeah. I wonder how similar they can be. All right, let me see. North Omaha. Oh, wait. Omaha. That, that sounds familiar. I think that's in the Great Plains. It's it's a capital city, I'm pretty sure. Ah, here you are. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting way too excited for this. Texaco! Are we in Latin America? I see that gas station in Latin America. Sleeping on the floor? Oh my god. My... When I lived with my mom, my room was so badly insulated that, um... Sometimes I had to sleep on the floor in order to not get overheated, because Florida gets really hot. We don't really have much to go off of here. Except for the gas chain. Mexico. Um, uh, I can't read that sign. Great Plateau. <laughs> da, 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 
Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna just say Mexico. Maybe... Uh, eh, yeah, Mexico too. Holy fuck, we were in Ukraine. Oh, that's embarrassing. You didn't see that. <laughs> oh man, I haven't gotten something that wrong in a while. Okay, here we go. Reserve parking. Okay, what does the architecture look? This is very American. If I'm being honest, the sky looks depressing. So we might be in Colorado. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Suburbia in general is pretty depressing. I mean, look at all these houses. Not a storefront in sight. Nowhere to go. You need a car to get out of here. I, I don't see myself living in a place like this, honestly. I don't really like places where you need to drive at least 10-15 minutes to get anywhere. Like, I live like 5 minutes away from a Walmart, and I like that because grocery shopping isn't a pain in the ass. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think the grass is all dead and shit because it's the middle of winter. Oh. <laughs> We changed seasons by going down the street. Yikes, man. This looks depressing. Fuck it. Wait, 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 wait. Look at the license plate colors. I genuinely can't tell what state this is. Okay, thanks for coming. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna say Colorado. There's literally no reason for me to pick Colorado, but I'm just gonna say it. Ah! Okay, I guess I know Colorado better than I thought. What the fuck? I only visited there once. <laughs> oh, we're in Israel. Eh. I'm not gonna say anything about that. Probably Tel Aviv. Anyway. Planned Parenthood. Work safety footwear. Hey Cam, how's it going? It's going, going somewhere. Going to shit, I'm kidding. <laughs> nah, we're, we're fine. Just a lot of stuff going on within the last few weeks, so I kinda haven't been able to stream much. And I think, honestly, what I should start doing is just kinda stream whenever I feel like it, rather than, like, trying to go for, like, a set schedule. I'm sure there are plenty of streamers who just stream whenever they feel like it, and if people wanna catch them, then they can. And I think that would work best if I don't do series, like, you know, like, let's say, oh, let's play through this game for I don't know how many streams. As long as I do, like, chill out streams like this, it, it should be okay to have sporadic schedules. But if I'm doing, like, a actual series, though, I'm gonna have to be on top of things with a schedule. But, yeah, I, I need to figure out how to be better with that. Wow, four months already, Kamex B love. Thank you. Two nineteen. Does see any palm trees? No rallies. Excuse me, it's called Checkers. Ew. Uh, 
Fuck, I keep making it wrong. I'm gonna... Fuck this song. <laughs> I have no idea where we are, if I'm being honest. But I did see rallies, so that's interesting. Edwin de Jesus. You... <laughs> I almost read this in Spanish. You combine. <laughs> I'm sorry, I saw his Spanish name and I thought the sign was in Spanish. <laughs> Uh, this is, uh, apparently Starshine Beach from Mario Galaxy 2. Oh, I don't have the thingy on. There you go. And the underwater version. Chevy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have no fucking idea where we are. Let me just... I'm gonna have to just throw a dart at the U.S. and see what sticks. <laughs> Some bullshit middle of the country. Oh, Chicago. Yeah, I'm okay. We're not looking at that massive fumble there. What the hell is that? Sasto Porsi. Is this Finland? <laughs> I think... No way. Is it actually Finland? Let me put it near Helsinki. Hel Helsinki. Helsi... Fuck. Oh! It wasn't near Helsinki, but... Yeah, it was Finland. I got a Volkswagen. Da, 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 da. Yeah, sometimes I know things. Kind of weird. I'm not even being sarcastic. It actually is kind of weird how I know some of these things. Where the fuck are we? Oh, nice quality. I love this potato. Da, 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 da. Oh, wow. You guys are quick. <laughs> I was gonna ban them with treasure- Treasure? Aw. What a sweet thing to call them on Valentine's Day. Treasure touchdown. <laughs> we're, we're- we're in some Great Plains state. No, we're not. We're in Louisiana. It's still flat there. I've been to Baton Rouge. Plenty of times, actually. Because it, it was like my stop where this is Japan. Japan is very distinct. Let's go! I still am bad at knowing like what part of Japan I'm in, but... Oh, I like how bright it is here. Yeah, well, never mind. Da 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 This blows. I gotta be careful. Cause if I insult a European they're gonna What <laughs> If I insult a European they're gonna I don't know, make fun of how our kids get shot in schools or something. You have a funny accent. Well, your kids die in school. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm sorry, sheesh. We're in France. I don't know what part of France, though. Let's go. You know, I kind of wonder if there's a lot of similarities between uh, France and Britain. Because of their proximity. Oh, wow. Well, 
Could be Russia or Ukraine. Could also be Bulgaria. Belarus. I don't know. La da 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 da. We're definitely in Eastern Europe. I'm just gonna say Russia. But like a smaller city. I really don't know. Oh shit, no, it was all the way up here. But we were in Russia, so that's what matters. Man, what a big country. Da, 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 da. Definitely rough looking. Where am I? I'm in the void. I was I was wondering why it took so long to load. No, I'm just in the void. Uh oh. We died. I'd shit my pants if we ended up in, like, the back rooms or something. The site is being a bit of a bitch. Hold on, let me close all these, actually. Put extra tabs. Come on! Oh, never mind. <laughs> I know exactly. I was gonna say, this looks like India. Yeah! Nice. You know, I was saying that we're, we're kind of due for another Forza Horizon game, because uh, it's been three years since the last one, and I kind of wonder uh, what, what the next location they're gonna pick is, because they already... the first game... Uh, was in Colorado, and the second game was in France. Third game was in Australia, fourth game was in Britain, and the fifth game is in Mexico. So, like, I honestly wonder what their next place is going to be. I feel like it'd be cool if they chose, like, a place in Asia. Oh my god. If they chose, like, Japan and, like, base it around, like, 90s tuner cars, I would fucking nut. Sorry. I like cars. Or maybe like like India, where you, you'll have to like maneuver around like tight roads and a lot of traffic. That'd be cool too. And then they can have like mountains in the background and shit. Oh, that'd be so cool. Dale, Acres, Hendricks and Company, 803. Oh, we're in the U.S., but I don't recognize that area code. Man, I love the skyline from the late 90s. It was like my childhood because of Gran Turismo 3 and stuff. <laughs> No idea where the hell we are, but you know what this looks like? Fucking Mississippi or something. I, I really don't know. Ah, uh, you know, kind of close. It was South Carolina, which looks pretty similar, if I'm being honest. I've driven through the Gulf Coast and the East Coast. And let me tell you, all these states here look exactly the same. <laughs> I'm too lazy to read. Me at school. This is very pretty, though. Oh, I would hate to drive over this shit. Florida has, like, these brick roads, too, in, like, downtown Orlando. And I swear to God, I feel sick driving over this shit. I hate it. But this looks like pedestrian streets, actually, so thank God. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking France, too. Building for sale? That's not for- I'm just kidding. 
Oh, I forgot country codes. Is France's country code 36? It could also be Italy. They do share, um, like depending on what part, they do share architecture styles. Oh, wait, I saw a flag. Italy. Okay, it was Italy. Look at, wait, is it? No, wait. No, wait a minute. That's not Italy. Look at the flag. That's Hungary. Is that Hungary? What the hell? <laughs> that, I was so convinced that this was France or Italy. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, let's just put it in Budapest. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, Hungary. Oh, what the hell is this? All this red soil. We're in Mars. It's so flat. We could honestly be in West Texas. I might just take it. It could also be Northern Mexico. I don't know. I, I would hate to live here though. All right, let's just do West Texas. What the fuck? It was South Africa. <laughs> Damn it, Trevor. I'm never listening to you again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you mean, save this is Japan? You know, an easy way to tell if you're in Japan is the cars, because they're all like funky little minivans. Like, look at, look at the shapes of these cars. It's so interesting. And we got this asshole with a Mercedes. Damn, okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Too good for the peasant Daihatsu or Suzuki. Look, they're all just like... They're all like just square minivans. I, I don't know what these are. Like minivans or uh, hatchbacks. It's such an interesting, like, car type, but there's a lot of these in Japan. Okay. Yeah. It was Japan. I mean, you could tell from a mile away. Japan looks very distinct. What country is this? You see a van. Ah, oh, hell if I know, man. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm riding my horse in a wheelbarrow as a carriage. I used to think it was called a wheelbarrow, not a wheelbarrow. English is weird. Hmm. That quality is not looking very American. <laughs> and legends are. This person is just passing everybody. Look at this. We are not in the U.S. because no one does, no one does overtakes like that, not here at least. Oh yeah, I, I wanted to remix this song by the way. Let me see if I can find it. But I just never finished it because I don't know if anyone would care about this song. I need to find it though. Projects. Midnight, I think it was called. Here it is.
Alright, I'll let that load. It's gonna take a bit probably. Oh fuck off. I don't want The problem with this is that I'm literally only remixing like the first measure of the song. <laughs> that's that's kind of the thing, right? You know, when, when people are looking for remixes, they probably want the entire song to be remixed. But I'm fucking weird where it's like, I just like this section. So I'm going to remix that. And I, I don't know. It's just... I, I don't know where the hell we are, by the way. I'm just kind of... I'm... Ah, Ukraine. I fell off, man, for real. Yeah, this is either Florida... Or Florida. <laughs> no, wait, that's Georgia. Wait, no, that's Florida. Yeah, that's Florida. Never mind. They have very similar license plates. Um, Georgia's license plate has a peach in the mi- Oh! I just dock somebody. <laughs> I'm kidding. We're in Florida, though. I mean, that plate is obvious. Yeah, near in Miami, apparently. Or Fort Lauderdale, sorry. Yeah, I, I just... That's the thing about me. I really like repeating melodies. We're in Japan again. I really like repeating melodies for some reason. That's just... I don't know why. That's why I never understood when people, like, said, Oh, this song's repetitive, as if that's, like, a bad thing. It's like, I, I like repetitive stuff. I don't know. And the thing about it is, if you learn anything about music theory... Oh, I wonder where we are. You'll never walk alone, because if you do walk alone in Liverpool, you'll get stabbed. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright. I've never actually been to the UK. I feel like people would call me the wrong slur because they'll probably think I'm from India or something. <laughs> I have no idea where we are. <laughs> Very flat lands though. It's surprising I haven't remixed Bad Apple yet. I There was a point in my life where I played a lot of Osu. I know it's pronounced Os, but I, I refuse to call it that. But um, there was a point where I played a lot of that, and I was very familiar with Toho music because of that. I refuse to call it Os. It sounds stupid. I'm sorry. I have no idea where we are. I just see flatlands. Every time I see flatlands, I'm gonna say fucking Nebraska. I don't care. Ah! You didn't see that. Uh. 
Wait a minute, this is Cyrillic, right? So why the hell is there an English stop sign? <laughs> That's so weird. Like, how universal is English? Yeah, what, what the fuck? I have this sudden craving for... Sushi with, like, wasabi. Mmm. I haven't had sushi in such a long time. But... I've been trying to, um... I've been trying to stop my addiction of like going out to eat or just getting takeout because I kind of, I've done, done a lot of number crunching and it turns out that uh, I buy takeout a lot and that's part of the reason why I'm kind of hemorrhaging money, which I mean, yeah, it's, it's kind of like, <sighs> it's something I'm glad I realized because it's pretty irresponsible. But, yeah. Most ships here are frozen. Oh, is it because, like, you probably live away from a coast or something? I heard that's a thing. Funny thing is, I've always lived in coastal cities and just coastal areas in general. So, like, I, I never actually knew about that. Like, I never thought about how fish would probably taste different when you're more inland. I'm <laughs> I know it's gonna sound biased when I say this, but I'm definitely better th with money than retro. <laughs> and like th there's like a logical reason behind it, right? I'm not I'm not trying to like shit on him or anything, but I kind of grew up poor. So naturally I'm more frugal. But there does I do have exceptions. Like, you know, sometimes I'm more willing to spend money on like technology or um or like art so like we kind of all have that one thing where we don't really think too much about our spending and those were the areas for me whereas like uh there's some things that i buy that there's just no fucking reason for me to have it but it's like i want it because it's like an interest of me <laughs> but yeah nah we uh we grew up poor in new york city um, I legitimately don't know how my mom handled being a single mother, taking care of a child, while working at fucking Home Depot, like, in the early 2000s. I, I genuinely don't know how she made it, but, like, kudos to her for being able to. And the thing was, we never, we never really struggled. Like, we always had food to eat. We always had our lights on. I don't know how she made it work, genuinely. Like, my mom is... My mom is fucking awesome. I don't know. <laughs> Magic. Yeah, honestly. Mom's just making food appear out of thin air. And we had, like, simple stuff, you know? Like, she fed me, like, mac and cheese, ramen, whatever. The arroz con pollo. You know, rice and chicken, because that's like a staple in Latin American food. <laughs> I have no idea where we are, by the way. Oh, I see a little thingy on, on the S. I think we're in uh, Eastern Europe. I don't know, man. I'm gonna say Czechia. Oh, maybe not. It could be Slovakia. Damn. It was... Serbia? That's surprising. Does Serbia usually use Cyrillic? Interesting.
yeah. This is very much the Midwest, but like north. I'm so glad I can actually hum to the music now, because I tend to do that a lot. Baptist Church, we are definitely in the United States, but I mean... It was kind of obvious. Look at all this architecture. Whoa, look at these mountains in the background. Now I'm kind of confused what state we're in. Like, this could... This could honestly be, uh... What the fuck's it called? It's kind of cozy. I, I like that. Oh? That looks like a state flag, but it's all blue. Hmm. Sheets. Oh. Are we in Pennsylvania? Like... Maybe? Like Western Pennsylvania? A lot of state flags are just straight up blue. But I have a friend who lives in Pittsburgh that talks about sheets all the time, but I've never heard of it before. It was Pennsylvania. Wow. But it wasn't Western Pennsylvania. Yeah. I don't I don't think sheets is only in Pennsylvania, but I definitely knew someone who lived there that talked about it. So the reddish soil makes me think of like Africa or parts of Latin America. Oh, it could also be, like, Malaysia. I don't know. I'm not really sure where red soil is usually apparent. I could just read that sign. Sixty-five. I need to memorize the country codes for, like, phone numbers and such, because that, that can be very helpful. <laughs> Far Cry 6. Ah, I still have yet to play that one. I played, uh, I beat Far Cry 3, and I need to get on Far Cry 4, and I also played a shit ton of Far Cry 5, but never actually ended up beating it. I think I just got bored of it, like, halfway through. But, yeah, no, I definitely enjoyed Far Cry 3, but I think that's where, like, their story kind of peaks of, like, the series. Because then after 3, they kind of just did the same thing for the next, like, I don't know how many installments. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I genuinely have no idea where we are. Oh, Thailand. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say Malaysia for a bit. <coughs> Oh, really close to uh, Myanmar. Yeah, I definitely gotta play more of Far Cry 5. Uh, my problem with these, like, open-ended games is that sometimes they can be a little too open-ended. So often, with me, oftentimes I get stuck because of Mexico. That's not why I get stuck. I just I just realize it's Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. Ooh. I like snow. Oh man, the scrolling title needs to be down a little bit. There we go. Nah. I don't know what that says. Russia, I don't know. It's just a guess. It's actually Bulgaria. Wow. You know, what's kind of funny is you get like a different perspective of like, um, latitudes in Europe than you do in the United States. 
like for example um new york's latitude is the same as the latitude of like spain but like people tend to say spain is more of like a warmer place so it's very interesting how that works obviously you know climate and stuff isn't based on la or latitude Kinda. It kinda is, but kinda isn't. It's it's so weird how that works. Like, the closer you get to the equator, the hotter it is, right? That we know. But then there's places like, you know, the Mediterranean that get extremely hot, but it's nowhere near the equator. It's so interesting how that works. Yeah. Alright, I've had enough of GeoGuessr. What else can we do? TurboTax? You guys want to see me do my taxes? <laughs> okay. Oh, you know, I haven't played a Akinator in a while. Alright, let's see if I can find myself. Characters. Got all these damn ads. Has your character really existed? Technically, yes. Is your character female? No. Is your character from YouTube? Yes. Does your character have a gaming channel? Technically? Is your character known for Minecraft? No. Your character has did your character found a religious movement? No. Play Welcome to Blocksburg? No. Is your character black? I'm partially black, but I don't think people know that. <laughs> Does your character like playing Roblox? I I mean, I'm not known for that. A Fortnite streamer? No. American? Yeah, technically. Normally in a chair? Yeah. A beard? Yeah. I mean, not in real life, but Ace does. Infected by a parasite? No. Is he fat? I mean, he's sometimes. It depends on what art you're looking at. <laughs> horror games? No. More than four legs? No. Does your character have big boobs? I mean... <laughs> no. Into sports? No. <laughs> Does your character play Nintendo games? Yes. Grand Theft Auto? Not really. I mean, I do play it, but you wouldn't know me about that. Over 12,000 subs, yeah. A Poketuber, technically? Smash? You don't really know me for Smash. An expert in fighting? No. No. Continue. Does your character have the name of an animal? Technically? It's a Pokemon. Link with wolves? No. Does your character live with their sister? Not anymore. Born on Earth, yes. Play Grungle, I have no idea what that is. Married, no. Four million subs, no, I'm not that big. A speedrunner, no. Live with a woman? Hey Retro, are you a woman? <laughs> is he a fish? No. Dark skinned? In real life, yeah, kinda. Evil father? <laughs> you don't know that lore yet. Related to Pokemon, yes. Associated with the color purple, no. Does he fight? Kinda? But you don't really know about that. Enter competitions? No. Godzilla? No. We're going so far away, no. A nickname link with animals? No. A person in a costume? Technically? YouTube animated series? No. A gamer? Sure. White? No. Online game? No. White skin, no. God damn it! We're getting closer. <laughs> he, he's a brown person who likes Pokemon, so we're getting close. <laughs> Is he Indian? No, I'm not. Love Minecraft? Yeah, I guess. I've remixed Minecraft a few times. Two roommates? No. Orange hair? No. Rash metal? No. This is getting nowhere, dude. 
bearded yeah catch shiny pokemon no does he cuss a lot uh wear glasses no wear their hair in a bun i mean you don't know that deep web no no not with anime not glasses schlatt coin 600,000 subs? No. 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 Yes. Does your character play Friday Night Funkin'? Finally, we're getting somewhere. There. Jesus Christ. <laughs> God damn. It only took you, like, how long? Share my feet with my friends. No! An adult man, yes. Create music, yes. Is he white? A retro's kind of. He's he's very white, but you wouldn't know that. Is he a rapper? No. Is he black? No. Speak Spanish? A lot of people ask if retro can speak Spanish. No. <laughs> Literally, the only thing he knows how to say in Spanish is I'm pregnant. Anyway. <laughs> is he real? Yes. Be Korean? No. Your character a singer? Uh, no. Gaming channel? Technically? He does not play Roblox. Minecraft gaming? No. Sit on a washing machine? No, he does not. Chill their face a lot? Uh, no. GTA 5? No. Do you have the same parents as your character? No. Not female. He does have a tail. Did your character die young? Oh god, no. Does your character play Friday Night Funkin'? Here we go. More than 600,000 subs. Yep. <laughs> it's so funny how quick it is to find us. As soon as you say F and F. And that's because we're both like... I mean, okay. I'm just gonna be real with you. Is there really any other popular furry that plays FNF other than me and Retro? I hate calling myself a furry, but like, genuinely. <laughs> yeah. Um. There's more stuff we can do. I'm trying to think. Let's play Roblox. <laughs> God, I haven't touched Roblox in like five million years. I'm gonna. <laughs> I know he says he's not a furry, he's a demon, blah blah blah, but that's honestly just to scare weirdos away. Like. Neither of us call ourselves furries, but, like, I feel like anyone who isn't a furry would call us a furry anyway. It's just, we're not even doing this because, oh, denying it. It's mainly just because I think a lot of people are just fucking weird. Like, when you call yourself a furry, you just get a lot of weird people on your dick, like, constantly. So it's just, that's kind of why we don't do it. Like, I, I've had plenty of people, when, when I switch to Ace, they get a little too excited about the whole, like, furry thing, and it, it just kind of, it turns me off a lot. I, I just, I don't know, I, I don't see why you should be so excited about that. It's literally just, we're sharing a fandom, that's it. But, anyway... You remember when, like, you go into a family get-together, and let's say your your mom or something introduces you to a person you've never met before, and they're like, oh, he's a gamer too, and you're like, why, why would you say that? <laughs> like, 
It's so weird. But that's the thing, right? You don't really... There's no reason for you to say you are something or that you're not something. There's no reason to call yourself an otaku. There's no reason for you to call yourself a gamer. Maybe some people... I mean, some people do it for, like, a sense of belonging, I guess. But I, I just... I don't know. It just doesn't seem necessary to me. I'm trying to think of what game to play that isn't... Hmm... I guess we can try Funky Friday. It's been forever since I played that. I gotta switch the stuff. Uh... Sorry, my brain's not working right now. Ugh. My burps are not... Oh, there it is. Oh my god, this window's so annoying. Like, so big for no reason. There we go. I just wanted to get rid of the browser. And game capture. This. Oh, I see. There is uh, so much shit open. Mm. Sorry, I'm having a very hard time finding Roblox on this, like, thing. Uh, this will work. Sure. Yeah. But I need to move this down. Here. This will work. Okay, um... God, it's been forever since I played, like... Uh... Anything FNF related. Starting in... Huh. I forgot, I still have the mod author thing. Oh, wait, uh... Hmm. There he is. I wonder if they... Oh, they have north. Cool. I forget. Do they have a... Miku's concert. I thought that was like Retro's background. There is Retro's background. Oh, that's cool. They did the Retro Stadium too. Do they have any space? No. Okay. We'll use the... A oh, flug. This one. Three, two, one, oh, what the hell is this? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is IPU. I think, uh, Bloxon, Friday Night Bloxon has a... Has a versus ace background. <laughs> God, I'm so rusty at this.
I forgot they actually like was able to copy the the animations for the thing. Yeah, I don't think they uh They don't have too many. Cold front, cold hearted, concrete jungle, cryogenic, frostbite. Oh god, frostbite. Everyone loves frostbite. All right, we'll play Frostbite. Three, two, one, go! Eh. I keep forgetting I'm not playing as BF for once. So sorry for the people who had to like play this because like Jesus Christ, I don't know how long the intro was like 40 seconds long or something. That was a fucking workout back then. Watching people play these mod songs and they try to like hum to it, but it's like you've never heard the song before, so how, how are you humming to it? <laughs> Unless maybe maybe that was their second take, I really don't know. I have to pee, I'll be right back. You know what, I'm just gonna keep it on this screen so you can see the, the 3D model freak out. All right, we're back. <laughs> Roto running while passing out. That's funny. It's like the other Roblox game, and I'm pretty sure this one actually has a versus ace background. It's, uh... What's that? Here it is. The end? Oh, God. Is it freezing so much? 
Oh, wow. My ears. <laughs> what the fuck? Average FNF song. <laughs> Three, two, one. Play solo. Oh, they even did the colon three. Oh, that's cool. They have a nice little... Here we go. This one's more updated. Ah, oh, that's really nice. Frostbite 2 only has a hard chart. That's interesting. Nor'easter doesn't even have an easy chart. <laughs> nice. This one's the most updated. Someone said they wanted Sub-Zero, I think. There you are. Three, two, one, go! Oh, that's cool. Wow. That's that's pretty sick. <laughs> they even have the ice arrows in? What the fuck? I swear to God, I saw it. There it is. What? That's so cool. What are Ace's poses, though? <laughs> Looks like he's about to kill you. you fucking creepy pasta ace. That's such a hard note to hit. At least for me. I, when I had to sing this part in fucking Juno's uh, lyrical adaptation, it was so difficult. I'm, I'm pretty sure I did a workaround where I just sang the same note the entire time, and then, like, just pitch shifted it afterwards because it was that difficult for me. Like, I am not a professional singer, man. <laughs> God. Like, I can sing okay. I I'm, I'm not gonna deny that. It's just more of like a... Definitely not in a professional sense. Oh, No Homo's a good one. Three, two, one, go! Oh, ah! <laughs> I do really like the note splashes though. That's very satisfying.
<laughs> it is kind of funny to see that. Oops. I can't believe you made me miss. Banning. Ah! Jesus Christ. Jesus! I forgot about that. Primal Dialga. Yep. I actually referenced Primal Dialga here. I don't think anyone caught that. <laughs> Shake my head, FNF fans. I have an appointment. Oh, shit. February 21st. Man. I want to go to the doctor. What mods have I missed out on? Because holy shit, there's a lot. Wait a minute. So for V10, what did they use for that one... Infinity, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was about to say, they were not going to use its original name for that. <laughs> Wow, Beach Brother, that's that's a fucking throwback. Bull Hardy? Oh my god. <laughs> that's funny. Who's was the nerd that came up with that one? <laughs> Doxy? <laughs> That's funny. FNF Creepypasta Collection. Alright, hold on. What's this one? Friday Night Frostbite. Hard Excited. Alright, what's this one about?
sorry. <laughs> I was just listening to the music. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, you know, the sound design is very mesmerizing. It had me zone out for a bit, I'm not gonna lie. It's very, like, spacey. I like it. What? What? What is that? What was that mod? It was, uh, Friday Night Frostbite? I wanna see more about it. Ah. Cancelled build. Oh boy, what happened? <laughs> hmm. Star bros. Sorry, I'm like looking into this. <laughs> looking into this. Do I have a Twitter or something? I don't think they do. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything on this person. That's weird. Oh my god, there's so much! This is F and B. Right now, blocks him.
that was a collection of notes. Anyway. <laughs> what? Oof. Boomst. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that. Oh. What happened? Did my internet die? Oh no, I guess the server got shut down or something. We're in the void. Can't believe in the year of our Lord, 2024, man. Washed game. I'm kidding. Yeah. Okay. Trying to unrustify myself here. Yeah, I think that's interesting. I think the servers are just down now. Really? Yep. Okay. Uh, let's try a classic. <laughs> okay, so Roblox itself is fine. It was just F and B. What a coincidence, huh? Oh, I did not mean to invite people. No, Bones, wait, no. <laughs> calm your- calm your mental illness. I don't know if I- if I want to play that actually right now. What? Spongebob simulator? <sighs> I played so many hours of laundry sim. What about pick a side? I'm the only one here. <laughs> I'm not gonna fight this random child. <laughs> What's going on? It's 5 p.m. Shouldn't more people be on? Hmm. No. <laughs> we, we don't kill children here. We freeze them. I forgot about this obby. I died. I did not know that I wasn't supposed to touch the floor. Ah! Ow! Oh, okay, the hitbox is so- get out of here, I'm, I'm done with this shit, <laughs> pissing me off. Come on, is it really not working? Oh, there we go, hey it yo. works now. Thanks for the sub, by the way. 16 months, wow. That's not enough. I'm kidding. What the fuck? Black Ops 3? <laughs> Man. 
To think that Black Ops 3 is considered an old game now is probably nostalgic to some people. Black Ops 3 came out when I was like 18. <laughs> I'm okay. I can't seem to get on these though. Oh, I can do that. Yeah, I can't enter stage. Did I get banned? <laughs> and before I actually did get banned. Wait, what? Disclaimer, game is discontinued. Huh? When did this happen? Last update was the 13th of 2024. What? Wait, 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 wait. When did they stop? Because it last updated yesterday. Yeah, what? No idea. <laughs> okay, fine. Maybe we'll do laundry sim. All right, Bones, here you go. They got new music? I think they got new music. About today. It's tomorrow. That is the big day. 50% off chocolate. Just tastes better. Hold on, let me lower the volume of this. Shut up, Roblox. The owner of the game got swatted twice by the FNF. Jesus Christ, these kids are fucking rabid. By the way, Genesis, I played Cycles earlier. If you know, you know. <laughs> uh, anyway. I'm fine, I'm fine. Laundry Sim was my depression game, but like, I'm fine now, don't worry. <laughs> God, I used to play this for hours while just like being wrapped in a blanket and just sad. I, I, what a weird time in my life. Imagine a 24-year-old man crying while playing this game. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I love this. Uh, some of these songs are so... Spawn a black hole? The fuck? That's new. Also, I love how it's lagging. I'm running this on a RTX 4090, by the way. And a fucking Core i9-14900. So, uh... <laughs> it shouldn't be lagging, but... I know it's because of the basket. The basket kind of like fucks everybody up for some re weird reason. See, I remember my laundry sim. Oh yeah, man. Cycles is just way better than my music. <laughs> 
I, I, I need to, I need to give my, my crown away. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm pretty garbage at music. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, you are missing context. Everyone's missing context, but I'd rather not say the context because that might start unnecessary drama, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Stop. We need more clothes. Me to my OCs. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't like it when my OCs have clothes. Hey, Bones, I need your <laughs> help. I'm kidding. Ah, they all got it. Nah, you're fine, Bones. Don't worry. Tomorrow we gotta start working on the mod again. At least that's what Retro says. We'll see if he actually remembers. So yeah, uh, we did some pretty decent progress. Because uh, we kind of had a dedicated day where we all just sat in the uh, call to work on the mod together. And... Yeah, we were pretty productive. Um, I basically finished a song for Retro, and I also... Oh shit. Oh shit, we'll finally get to see what this does. What the fuck? Oh my god, what? What am I picking up? What are these clothes? This is just my wardrobe. <laughs> Okay. Well. Very upbeat music for a fucking black hole. I wish I could just get rid of the UI though. It's kind of in the way. Yeah, and it's really big too. Cosmic. Okay, you get a bonus for the black hole close. What was I saying? Oh yeah, uh, before the black hole event happened. Um, yeah, we, we were a lot more productive because we were just sitting in a call together while working. And apparently that's an ADHD thing, so that makes sense. Also, I think someone asked earlier if it's more efficient to have a bunch of smaller washers instead of one big one. Uh, no, I don't think so. 
In fact, uh, the idea is that you want to get the most money out of this least amount of clothing. So like giant washers like these, where it only ex it only takes 54, um, would definitely be a lot better. The type of washing machine gives you a certain amount of money per load. And that's how you kind of just creep your way up and upgrade more and more. But yeah, like, if you want a brainless game to play while, like, listening to, like, a YouTube video essay in the background, you just want to, like, kill time. Yeah, this is, this was my go-to for a long time. Actually, was introduced to this game because of my, my family. Like... My, I think my sister and my cousin, they found out that I had a Roblox account and they showed me this game. Like my cousin was like, oh yeah, play, uh, I'm playing Laundry Sim. And I'm like, what's that? And then, and then the addiction started. The funniest part is a fucking game that my eight year old cousin told me about. I got addicted. To, I, I got my friend group addicted to like a bunch of 20 something year olds playing this game with me. It, it was so funny. <sighs> I like this song a lot too. We should upgrade our washers. Let's see what our options are. It's got 5 billion coins, apparently. Yeah, I'm starting to feel a little... A little sleepy. Myself. Damn it, I wanted the big one. 8 billion, though? Fuck. Hmm. I think I should be patient and get the XXL. We're going to have to do a lot of rounds for this, though. I don't know if it's worth it, though, because then I'll have to, like, gain maybe, like, two and a half billion more coins for this. It's going to be a lot of time investment. Honestly, I get it. It's the same for me, whether or not they're good or bad memories, because, whoo, lad. I've known some interesting people during this time. Yeah, it really doesn't seem that worth it. Let me see how much this load will give me. That doesn't sound... Great. <laughs> oh yeah, this fucking Monsters Inc. ass music. <laughs> da, 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 da I think I tried Bee Swarm Simulator, but I couldn't figure it out, so I just quit. <laughs> Alright. Let's see how much we can get out of this. Uh, I can get more more clothes. Eh, fuck it. Alright, how much? 64 million. Uh, yeah, nah, it's gonna take too long. The problem with, like, getting... <sighs> this is tough. Because, like... I think this is what I currently have. 85 million? I grinded that much? Holy shit! I was patient! Let's get a golden one. Oh, 
Oh, the playtime? I wonder how much I have on this, actually. It's probably like 80 hours or something like that. It's weird. Let's see. 106 hours. Dude, that's like more than some of my Steam games. That's ridiculous. What the fuck? <laughs> like, why haven't I beaten most of my backlog? Because I play this. <laughs> I'm actually mentally ill. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, let's put this back. Put that in. Yeah. Hey Retro, what species is your- is Patience? Here, let's- let's brainstorm right now. Everyone's a fucking MILF in your universe, even Zerkro's a MILF. Don't ask how. I think Zerktro's a MILF. <laughs> a spider? Oh no, her thorax is gonna be fat as shit. Or no, abdomen, sorry. I don't know bug parts. The booty part of the bug. That that one. He's gonna make it huge. Just watch. Just reminded of that one gif where it's like blah blah blah. Shut up, dude. You're weird. Uh, retro, <laughs> retro's virtues is just gonna be like a whole milf manor or something. <laughs> Yeah, I think the idea is that he's trying to balance the genders where like um you know how there's three girl sins and four guy sins and the other I think he's going to try to do like four girl sins and three guy or sorry, not sins. Uh four girl virtues and three guy virtues. I think that's what- I mean, don't quote me on that. It can change. Also, I, I think his universe is wrong, because Having more um, female virtues than male virtues. Women are evil. Are you kidding? I gotta cook tomorrow. 
let him cook. I'm actually a little hungry right now, actually. I said actually twice. Uh, Retro's mom gave us a recipe for, um... It was like green chili chicken. It was really good last time I made it. Only problem is, I kind of messed up. And I'm still unsure how. Basically, the problem was that... Maybe there wasn't a, enough liquid in the, uh... In the Instapot. So... The rice kind of stuck to the bottom. And... Yeah, that kind of messed some stuff up. So I'm really hoping this doesn't happen this time, but I'm a little worried about that. So basically what I did was... Um, I took... Like, to prevent it from burning, I took it out of that pot and just finished it in a normal pot. And it turned out fine. Like, it was good. Um, I obviously had to check... I had to check... Um, the temperature of the chicken to make sure it's fully cooked and to do that you stick a thermometer in and make sure that it's at least 165 degrees and that way you ensure that all the bacteria is killed but um yeah so i did that and i was able to finish it off in on the stove like normal i really hope that doesn't happen again though because like i genuinely don't know what i did wrong that time But we'll see. Oh yeah, I really like this song. Fucking vaporwave ass version. I feel like I'm getting carpal tunnel by playing this game. Like, you do have like automatic pickup, but it's like really slow, so I just click. It's so much faster when you click. Also, I was going through like nostalgia games, and I recently, earlier today, I was playing Sims Castaway on the Wii. And it's a very interesting game, to say the least. W what a weird, like, departure from what Sims usually is like. Ah, uh, Wizard 101. I, I never actually played it, but I saw so many commercials of that game. And same with Toontown. Man, I wanted to play those games so bad. But I don't. my mom didn't let me. <laughs> It's honestly, it's such a weird spinoff. <laughs> Alright, if I get 8 billion coins, then uh, that's when I finally get the giant washing machine. And I think it's going to be easier to get there now that I have this gold washing machine. sound like I'm just really into this game like all right the meta for uh laundry sim ah <laughs> uh, yeah I, I think that's what uh that's why my mom didn't didn't uh, let me play these games because it was subscription based and like it really sucks that subscription based stuff is the norm now because uh, I don't know I recently downloaded a financing app uh, called like Rocket Money 
And essentially what it does is it connects to my bank account and organizes all the times that I purchase something. And I've noticed there was quite a few, um, there were quite a few like subscriptions that I just completely forgot about that I continued to pay for. And that's kind of how they get you, right? Where you really don't know where your money is going because it's being like siphoned in the background. And it's, it's why I fucking hate subscriptions. And I really don't like that a lot of businesses are going that route. Because the thing is, right, you know, as a person with ADHD, like, it's hard for me to keep track of a lot of things. So, kind of taking advantage of that. <laughs> like, remember when cable TV used to just be like one bill every month and now you have to pay for Disney Plus and Paramount Plus and your mom plus? I don't fucking know at this point. It's pretty stupid. And it doesn't seem like it's going to stop anytime soon because it's definitely proven to be uh, proven to be very profitable. That's another thing. Yeah, they're, they're very sneaky about it. They don't tell you when it's time to renew. They just do it automatically. And the worst part is the renew like the automatic renewal shit is the default option. So that's how you forget. <sighs> the subscriptions start putting it, yeah. It's like the whole point is just gone. Because they want to make even more money. And like, I get it. Businesses want to make money. Businesses want to be more profitable. But like, I don't know, man. I was always a good, uh, I was always a believer of people are willing to pay more for a good service, you know? Like, if the service is really good, like, it's kind of the same with artists that, like, I found where I'm, I'm definitely a lot more inclined to tip when I feel like I'm getting really good piece for the money or whatever. Like, I almost always tip artists because most of the time their prices are really insanely good for what they're giving. And taxes have made it so I can't do that anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, yeah. But I should also say that, like, when I pay the the price that the artists ask for, it doesn't mean that I don't think I got a good deal. It, it's mainly just because money is probably tight at the moment, so I just, I stick with the price that they tell me. But if I have a little extra, then yeah, why not? Throw some their way. But yeah. <laughs> I can feel my shoulder being a little sore because of how much I've been clicking. <laughs> Damn. Oh, uh, I'm stretching. This looks kind of weird, like he's leaning around in a weird way. You know, I kind of wonder if maybe... Okay, so I like doing gaming streams, but <laughs> maybe I'm just lazy or something. Because I tend to like it more when I'm co-hosting rather than actually like being the one to host. Um, like, 
I wonder if I should leave the gaming streams for when I co-stream with Retro <laughs> or something. And then like the chill streams for my own channel. Oh yeah, we got 8 billion coins. Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. Something good, something good. Eight seven five. Oh, I'm close. Oh yeah, no. Uh, anytime an artist asks you to commission them, which, first of all, I find weird as shit. Like, why would you do that? Yeah, it's more than likely a scam. I I wouldn't even trust that. You as the commissioner are supposed to go to the artist. They're they're not supposed to ask you to commission them. It, it, that's that's a very weird recent practice that I don't know why that's a thing. But I've, I've had people, it's crazy, I've had people like come to my DMs where it's like, I think your character is really pretty, can you commission me to draw them? It's like, what? if you want to draw them, you can draw them, you don't have to ask me to commission you for that, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah... The art space has been very interesting lately with that. There we go. 9 billion coins. We finally can get the giant washer. And 25 gems. Yeah, going to a person directly be like, Hey, can you pay me to do something that you didn't ask for? Like, what? Are you crazy? I wish you could, like, sell washing machines. Yeah, it's just- you just delete it. Mmm, more lag. My favorite. But yeah, these giant ones, they give you a shit ton of coins. For the less- less amount of clothes. So that's why they're- they're good. Come on, washing devs. I don't know why I said that. It's laundry sim devs. Whatever. Ooh, let me see if I can get better beds for my animals. Oh, Jesus. A thousand gems? I had money like that? The fuck? Alright. I'm actually surprised I didn't blow money on microtransactions in this game. Like, when I actually had a lot of money. Good. It means I'm not stupid. <laughs> I'm There's even bigger washing machines, if you can believe it. <laughs> Yeah, like, look, that's that's the one that costed a thousand gems. How did I grind that much? Oh, yeah, so the thing about the props... Um... They don't work with this f new face tracking thing, but they will work with uh, the 2D VTuber. So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, like, alternate between using the 2D one and the 3D one. Depending on what I- how I feel. Until I can figure out how to get VC face to, uh, track my face and add it to the blend shapes. 
this is like a almost like a temporary solution for now. It, it's a weird one, but it's a weird workaround. <laughs> Sorry. I need to stream more so that people can throw stuff at me. Yeah, I don't know what what's up with VC face. Um, I need to figure out how to do facial tracking with VC face. Because for some reason, this webcam motion capture can't seem to send the blend shape data to VC face. And I still don't know why. I, I really need to look into that more. Ice note attack. <laughs> Tell me how I like got semi jump scared by that truck sound. But not the emerald shorts. Oh wait, did I did I get all the There's a cosmic journal. Okay, I got the regular journal. I got all that. I love arpeggios like that. More arpeggios like that, please. I will eat them. They're very yummy. It'll be here in a different stream when I use the 2D VTuber and uh, if I can figure out the VC face stuff. Because this current program I'm using is like more of a workaround. Hmm. Let me take a look at that. No, because then I'll be doxing myself with my IP address on the... <laughs> Oh god, a freezing... I would not know how to do that. The amount that I know about how to fuck with Unity is like changing textures and materials and that's it. <laughs> and shaders. Like that time I made an invisible material so that I can hide a penis on a model. Uh, good times. <sighs> this bottle doesn't have a penis, thankfully. Hey, Genesis. <laughs> Kidding. He's a, he's a Naga, which is like a serpent creature with uh, arms. There's a ref of Mace's penis. I'm sorry. People. Okay. What time is it? 5.58? I thought it was way later than that. What do you mean, give? Oh, boy. Alright, we're playing with fire right now. We are playing with fire. Alright, is it... Is Twitch not going to randomly, like, 
show this, or not Twitch, is uh, OBS not going to randomly show this shit? Just press a hotkey and it shows this extremely dangerous folder I'm going through right now. Make sure this is the right person. Okay. There you go. I forgot to spoil it, sorry. You just got penised. It's art, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not just sending dick pics to people. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he took me out on a date by telling me to drive him to a restaurant. All right, to be fair to him though, the reason why I'm usually, well, always the one driving is because I'm not entirely sure, like 100%, but I can get carsick when I'm the passenger. So, uh, yeah, not fun if you want someone thrown up in your backseat or something. So I, I have to be the one driving or else I'll feel sick in the car. Yeah, so like the funny thing is too, I, like, I never got car sick up until I was, like, 25. And I think the reason for that is because I've been driving myself. Like, I've been driving everywhere for so long. I've had my license since I was 18, and I've had my permit since I was 16. So I've been driving cars since, like, 10 years. And it's very, very rare that I'm the passenger. So I think my body just isn't used to that anymore. So I have to be the one driving or else I'll get sick. Yeah, my life sucks, guys. Feel bad for me. Ooh, woo. That's a joke, by the way. Let's get another one. Two giant washing machines, and there's still a bigger one, by the way. The good thing about this amount of washing machines is that 2 times 48 is a lot less than 6 times 48, so you don't need to do nearly as much work. You get paid by not having stinky clothes. <laughs> Excuse me.
Sorry. I saw something in it. Okay. Very weird. But, uh, yeah. What was I doing? Just playing more laundry sim, I guess. Yeah, I guess ADHD did kick in, huh? There's gotta be something else we can do. Ooh, oh. Laundry sim, throwback. <laughs> Thanks for the resub. Wow, 25 months. Sub. Uh, yeah, we've been at this for a while. What musical pattern do you use for song structure? I'm really done with nearly done with my song I'm creating, but I don't know if I did it right. Uh, I, I don't really think about song structure all that much, but maybe I can find a pattern by like listening to a couple. Cause I, I feel like what I do sometimes is I obviously start off with like an intro and then it kind of goes into like a second intro of some sort. Like it's like an intro build up second intro that's like more lively than the first intro build up and then it actually drops and then after that i probably do like some cool down section to kind of break the monotony and then ramp back up to like another drop or chorus i guess if you're more old-fashioned and then sometimes, most of the time really, I just repeat the intro as the outro. It's very formulaic, and I feel like I do that a lot. Oh no, Chubby, shut up. <laughs> Stop. It's, song structure is, I want to say it's pretty nuanced. Like, I, I don't really think there's a wrong way of doing it. The only wrong way of doing it is probably if you like just kind of do your intro and then ramp the song up and then just continue that copy paste that song structure for the rest of the thing like you kind of want a break in the middle to not feel as stale if i did then that means a lot of my songs probably sound the same oh god <laughs> It can. Some people just copy and paste the same drop. And some people make like a different variation of the same drop. And some people do a completely different drop. It, it genuinely depends on how lazy you're feeling when you're, <laughs> when you're making that song. Because I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I'm like, I want to be done with this fucking song. I don't want to compose a second drop. I'm just going to copy and paste the first drop. Fuck it. <laughs> or sometimes I'm like, I'm going to copy and paste the first drop and like change a few things just so it doesn't feel like I copy and pasted it. I've done that with uh, Last Chance, actually. <laughs> like, here, let, let's take a listen. Let's, let's find it.
Alright. Here's the intro. Build up. First drop ish. This is kind of just a second intro, technically, because it's like a variation of how the song started. And this is more like a bridge. Bridge, which kind of leads to a like a build up. Here's the build up. And then we're at the drop. And here's like a cooldown spot. Though, I'm pretty sure I followed the structure of the original song in this one, so it might not be an accurate representation. Tenzu's like one of the few actually cool people in the FNF community, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, this is this is where I like took the first drop and like just made a slight variation of it. What the fuck is that skin? Bruh, what is this? <laughs> oh my god. This one did pretty much follow the, uh... Oh, not that. You. Oh, you know what? My house trance kind of stuff definitely follows that. Fear Factory. So I got 18 billion. Let's do it. Yeah.
not accurate with those notes. Uh, with my voice, I mean. sucks I'm sorry. I, I, this one's good though it doesn't it doesn't suck I just wanted to be edgy to myself <laughs> We love Minecraft in this house. so bad but the problem is it's gonna make a lot of my stuff sound very samey <laughs> if it doesn't already piano solo because why not I love strings I put strings in everything play two woodwind instruments actually saxon uh saxophone and clarinet so maybe i have a little soft spot for them even though i don't use them much in my music now that i think about it also i played a alto saxophone I 
still have an alto sax in my uh, closet, but I, I just never have any uh, any chance to like practice it because I live in an apartment. So, a little unfortunate, but that was one of the things I liked about living with my mom was that I don't think she really cared if I played my saxophone, but I, I don't want to like piss off any neighbors. So, yeah. I kind of just keep it in the closet, don't really do much with it. One of the stuff I think is pretty good that I made. Oh, this one. I fucking snapped with this one. I don't I don't even care. Okay, see ya. Thanks for coming. Random Elise cameo for no reason. <laughs> when I'm not lazy. You do it for me. It's so weird how this feels nostalgic now. Like, it was not long ago when I made this song. This is a... Uh the shrine battle from Tears of the Kingdom. I was the only fucking person to remix that. <laughs> well, no, th I think there was one other remix of it. That's what Retro is referencing, the little scrolling title. <laughs> typically, I typically, I'm 99% of the time use FL Studio, but uh, I've been kind of dabbling in Ableton every once in a while, just trying to learn the program. I don't know if I've seen Ultrabox before. I actually fucking bought the full version of Ableton, too. I just decided to bite the bullet for that. So, I better learn that shit. <laughs> now, if I could do an entire commission in Ableton, that'll be funny. Like, a, some, a program that I'm just not familiar whatsoever. But I just make a song in it. Oh, a GitHub music major. That's it. Callate. Sekayate, Palate. Hmm. Oh, this one. I did pretty good on this one, too. Oh, God. Yeah, I know the basics of Ableton. Hey, what are you doing here, chubby? I can't believe this. Again with the Elise cameo. Why why is she in like every song from 2023? <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. If there's one thing 
that I say, oh, I'll resume this later. If there's one thing I say Ableton has over FL, I mean, there, there's quite a few things, but recording in Ableton is so much fucking easier in Ableton, like, than it is in FL. In FL, I want to fucking kill myself when I record. I'm sorry. Why did I fast forward? How does that work? Anyway. What the fuck is vomit step? That sounds. Ugh. <laughs> Do I dare look that up? Hold on, how do I send me the link so I can do it and show me or tell me how? Cause I'm not gonna know. I just that. Anyway, uh, uh what other songs do we have? Oh, the Lower Britain. Let's get out of 2023. Let's listen to some cringe. What do we have for cringe? Oh, this is not cringe. Actually, this is really cool. This is one of my best ones from 2019. I gotta make more music like this. It's so fun. <laughs> I hate that it's called that. I'm in the site, by the way. What do I do? How do I add somebody as an editor? Oh, add editor. Here we go. What's your name? Or do I just type your Twitch name? Let me see, modify emotes. Manage billing? No. <laughs> Here, you can manage editors too. 
And view messages, I don't know what that's about. There you go. Uh, it doesn't show the link. Uh, can you... Can you DM me or something? Alright. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, is this copyrighted? I don't know if I can listen to it. Mm, it's an official music channel. Alright, let me see if I can like, skip ahead a little bit. Yeah, I can see why it's called Bombas <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I love stuff like that, but I know a lot of people probably wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've made Vomit Step, but I've made... This is the closest to like a really hard drop that I've ever made. Let me just skip ahead to it. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I wish I made it louder. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let me see. There's like... What other drops? I like, uh, I like what I did with Smoke Bomb. It's not heavy, it's more melodic, but like... This is definitely more like 2012 like dubstep. Same with Waterfall, actually. I'm not a massive fan of this one, though, because I, I don't like the chord progression. Like, that chord progression is literally almost every F and F fucking song you've ever heard in your life. So, eh, I think I fumbled that one, but what else do we have? Oh yeah, the Scary Night drop was very interesting. I, I, don't, I don't know what I was thinking with this, but it's okay.
such an interesting drop. I don't I don't know how I made that, <laughs> being honest. I did like what I did with Think, but if I'm being honest, Think kind of... Listening to it again, it kind of reminds me a lot of First of the Year by Skrillex. good in 2022 and 2023 like I, I don't know i was very consistent with my quality pretty happy with that there you see i'm gassing myself up a rare thing frostbite 2 is pretty good <laughs> a very long one though I didn't like that violin sound. It's not what I was looking for, but it's okay. It did the job, kind of. By the way, that fucking violin costed me, what, $200? Yeah, music plugins suck. They're so expensive. I've uh, used it in more flattering tracks like, uh, like, uh, fuck, where is it? Probably on my desk desktop. Where is it? Oh, I have this on my desktop, apparently. Tell I watched Angry Video Game Nerd when I was younger. All right. Uh. Uh, I'm using Restream. Sorry, I was wondering if there would be anything else. Oh, I got other stuff. Mm. 
the problem is I don't know what spoil like I have so many MP3 files on my desktop. I don't know what spoils someone's mod or not. That's the scary thing. It's like roulette, but with music files. I'm gonna accidentally spoil some shit. Oh yeah, <laughs> manual blast, but it's Ace's voice. And the, the file is called Let Go of Ace's Balls. Yeah. You're just like pulling it down. Where's the violin drill? I like that one a lot. <laughs> 